Hi everybody, welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, as you know, I have a 2011 Crown Vic right behind me. I love this car, but there's a few things I don't like, so I decided to make a video about the things I don't like about my Crown Vic Police Interceptor. Now, of course, there's more things I like than I dislike, but I thought it's important to mention that there are things that are not good about this car. Okay, the first thing I want to say is the headlights are terrible. They're just so terrible, almost to the point of being dangerous. You can see it's yellow, horrible. This is something you would see from a Model T in 1920. Ford, get your act together. I shouldn't say that because they're not making them anymore, right? <laughs> okay, what I mean is that these are terrible headlights. You cannot see anything on the road. If uh, a zombie appears in front of you, you're going to hit it. Actually, that's a good thing. And a police interceptor would be great at taking out zombies. But no, we're talking about the bad things. Headlights, bad. Look at me, I look just like a police officer. You know, the police officer, they have that stern look on their face as they're driving by you, like this. You know why they have that stern face? Because they're in pain, their butt is hurting, because the seat is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Now these seats, they do adjust in every possible way you can imagine with these little controls on the door right here. Front, back, back, up, down, and yet they're terrible. So if I was a police officer, I'd be very upset having to sit in this seat all day for eight hours. Maybe that's why you're gonna get your next ticket. They're just upset. And of course, while we're here, let's talk about the tech. There is no tech, there is no Bluetooth, there's no Sirius, there's no screens, there's nothing in this car. There's nothing to entertain you. So if you're a millennial or an X or Y, or an X or y person, you will not want to buy this car because there's nothing for you to do while you drive, except drive. Maybe that's a good thing. X and Ys, leave this car alone. Leave it for the old guys. And here we have the venerable 4.6 liter V8 engine. Uh, very reliable, but there's a few problems that you should know. First of all, this manifold is plastic. It's not metal. It should be metal, Ford, but you made it out of plastic, didn't you? And it cracks sometimes. Mostly on the earlier models, not like this 2011 here, but you gotta watch out for that. Also, the spark plugs have a habit of just exploding out of the car, which is why you might find a dent on some of these cars because it'll just come right out because Ford didn't use enough threads to hold the spark plug in. So if that ever happens to you, good luck. And second of all, always disconnect the injector for that cylinder because you don't want to flood the car with uh, fuel. But having spark plugs that go into outer space like a NASA rocket, that's not good. So be careful. Okay, so you've got a big 4.6 liter V8 motor so the car's fast, right? No, it's slow, it's really, really slow. Now I know uh, another video I probably said it's quick, but there's a difference between quick and fast. This car is quick and slow. I can explain. It's quick off the line. I've mentioned that before. It's got a nice 3.27 uh, ratio rear end gear, It quick off the line. But as soon as you're off the line, it slows down and it is a bit of a slug. I'm sorry to say that for it. Sorry to say that to all the Crown Interceptor owners out there, but yes, your car is slow. And what I mean by slow is that the soccer mom in the minivan is waving bye-bye at you. The guy in the Camry, the millennial in the Yaris is beating you. I'm sorry, but it's true and you know it's true. If you don't believe me, look at any video, any old movie where a Crown Vic is in hot pursuit. It's always behind the other car. And of course, the bonus is that there is one more thing that's very annoying about the Crown Vic Police Interceptor, and that is, well look, we've arrived at our destination. Let's get out. We've arrived, my lady. Thank you, Jeeves. <laughs> As you can see, you're the everybody's butler and everybody's chauffeur because, of course, 
The Crown Vic police interceptor does not have door latches on the inside, and so whoever's inside, you have to let them out. Okay, those are a few things I do not like about my Crown Vic police interceptor. Alright, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.